Hello everyone. Welcome to Reactify Labs. This is the first video of a new playlist which is on LLD. LLD we all know is low level design. The reason I am making this uh, playlist and the videos in this is because I see uh, there is a lack of mm, the number of contents on this topic okay and even the contents which are there I feel they do not do justice to what low level design actually is so before I tell you what low level design is I'll tell you what low level design isn't so low level design is not about writing code. This I believe is the biggest misconception among a lot of people that when you are asked to design the LLD of a system, you have to write code. Some people even think that you have to write the entire end to end code, which is totally wrong. It's not about writing code. Even if it is, the writing code is hardly 5%. I would say it's even less than 5%, but I'll give you the benefit of doubt and consider it's a 5% number. But you, you, you get what I'm saying. Low level design is not about writing code. Writing code is the easiest part of low level design. Also, in the low level design interviews, you will not be asked to write code. Rarely you may be yes to implement one function for that you do not need to practice this you have already practiced a lot of lead code which is going to help you in that okay so this is my problem with a lot of uh, content which are there on youtube on low level design they focus on writing code they will show you that okay let's make this class let's make this as public and then write code write code that is okay that's fine that is one way but that is not how people understand nobody uh, is going to look at your screen and keep track of what all classes you have made uh, since your screen keeps scrolling right so that's what i wanted to tell here lld is not about writing code it's about making classes for example okay here you may say that ah so then this must be very easy but it's not that's where your logical thinking thought process comes. For example, let's say I tell you, uh, make me a calculator. Okay. And I tell you, calculator does only the addition and subtraction operations. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. So what will you do? You can do two things. Either you can make a main and you can say okay if operation is add then a plus b else a minus b you can do this but is this good code no why because one it's not modular second what if i later tell you that now i have to multiply as well then what you will do is you will now modify this else if subtract then a minus b else if multiply then something something you will do this which is not the right way of writing code because this can be a lot of things like next comes divide next comes power or exponentiation or next comes square root cube root fourth root logarithmic e to the power a lot of things so this is where your thinking as a software engineer should come up like as a software engineer what should i do i should make my code such that whenever a new requirement comes up it should take me the minimal effort to modify my code to accommodate that request okay so i will not delete this okay so one thing that you can do here right now is you can keep make a separate function for each of these like there is one function for fn add one function for fn subtract one function for fn multiply right and whenever anything comes up 
let's say new requirement comes up so now you have main and whenever you have to add you will just call fn add okay sorry not this it was like fn add this function is called and that's it now new requirement comes up let's say now you have to find the square root you will just make a new function fn square root and that's it you will use it fn sqrt okay so this is one example of good code where you keep these things separate so see just in case of a calculator where this thing comes up let's uh, think what if a system is very complex for example instagram or let's say spitwise application or a library management system when you are writing the code for these kinds of systems it becomes very complex and you have to keep on managing it maintaining it keep accommodating changes which is not possible or too cumbersome if your code is not clean so that's where llt comes in whenever an interviewer asks you to make an llt of the system what you need to do is you need to tell him that okay this is the class this is the class this is the class this is the class um, this is an interface this is an enum um, this is going to extend this this is going to um, have like a relationship they can use each other um, this is going to inherit this um, things like these okay there are many concepts so these are the things this relationship is important you do not need to go on writing code you have to show this if you can show this in draw.io that is also fine but it is possible that interviewer may ask you to write in forms of class so that is what you do during your interview but while teaching you i am not going to write class for you like class public class this 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 i am not going to write this on the screen because i know that is boring i want to explain this visually as you can see here so this is the example with which i wanted to make you understand that this is how the low level design should be explained so that people get more interested in it and they also want to try like they want to um, make sure that they also do it because i know writing code is not enjoyable for everyone there are some people who do this but not everybody enjoys writing code so in that case this is the best approach for learning as well because if i tell you while teaching and if you learn that okay this is going to be a class so in the interview you can already you have to just know that okay this is going to class you have to just add the keyword class and the class name and that's it you are done so this is all about the high level view of the low level design interview and how this should be and how this should be taught so that's all for the first video in the later videos i'll start by um making systems um i know uh, there are few topics to be covered like solid principles and uh, some other things but i think there are enough materials for this on the internet so i'll skip this this time in future if i get time i'll make videos on that so that's all for this video thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one